Tamara, you pitched a story about one of Jersey's more colorful characters. He happens to be one of the last holdouts in Atlantic City. Empty spaces are popping up all over Atlantic City with the closings of major casinos like Revel, Showboat, and Trump Plaza. And with all of that, the city is still trying to take over with eminent domain, the humble home of one of Atlantic City's uh, local legends, Charlie Birnbaum. <laughs> He's a piano man, a piano tuner, and he has been there for over 50 years. So I chased this in July. Now, fast forward, it's a month later, we find out that the Revel Casino is closing. And yet, the Casino Reinvestment Development Authority is still trying to take Charlie's home. So I Skyped with Charlie's lawyer. When they thought the Revel was going to be successful, the only response they could think of was to destroy Charlie's longtime family home. And now that the Revel is closing, the only response they can think of is to destroy Charlie's longtime family home. I, I think if aliens invaded tomorrow, the only response they'd be able to think of would be to destroy Charlie's longtime family home. They're going to go back to court on August 28th. I'm going to keep chasing it to find out really what the next steps are. What is the CRDA, what is their statement about this? I reached out to them earlier and what they said is that they don't comment on cases that are still being litigated in court. As for the South Inlet Mixed Use Development Area, we are still utilizing standard development practices of assembling land to make it attractive for developers. It's amazing, you know, the whole point of eminent domain is for anyway. the public good, and that's what's missing here. The rules say that you have to have a specific development plan before you can seize land for eminent domain. The Revel doesn't even have a specific owner going forward. He should buy the Revel. This, Maybe is, he can buy the Revel. There you go. this is a classic example of Atlantic City political nonsense. They didn't have a plan for his property, which they want to take over. They didn't have a plan for Revel Casino. Here's a guy that actually could be an asset if you wanted to get behind. Here's a guy that tuned pianos for the Sinatras and the Liberacis of the world. This guy's a throwback to Atlantic City glitz. They should embrace this guy and make him the ambassador or something. You know, while I was there, he showed me the sign, uh, the Welcome to Atlantic City sign, that every year they have a new one. Well, last year, uh, it was actually painted by one of his kids. So really, I mean, he is local through and through. Meanwhile, the Rebels under and will be closing their doors in just a few days.